my wonderful pupils. I hope that you are all well and eager to learn some more. We have been using two basic forms in our language lessons to express our ideas and experiences. And we have learned about ideas and experiences that others have shared as well. Can you figure out what are those two forms I'm referring to? I'm Asham Shadeen, and today we are going to be reviewing the structure and elements of poems and stories, and then compare them to see their similarities and differences. When we looked at poetry, we discussed that poetry is the expression of ideas and feelings through a rhythmatical composition of imaginative and beautiful words. In poetry, the sound and meaning of words are combined to express feelings, thoughts, and ideas. The poet, who is the person that writes poems, chooses the words to be used in poems carefully. And the poem we also learned is usually written in short lines. In better understanding poems, we looked at the elements of poetry. The elements contained in poems are rhythm and rhyme, repetition, imagery, and the use of figurative language. Poems are written in such a way that the words used are able to captivate the reader or listener and sometimes activate their mood and emotions. Then we have learned about stories. We would have been engaged in reading stories and writing some of our own in our reading, composition, and comprehension lessons. Most of the stories that we covered were basically very short stories. Now, a short story, however, is a fully developed story which is shorter than a novel and longer than poems. It can typically be read in a single sitting, meaning that you could sit down for an hour or so or less and you can read out the story. Short stories focuses on incidents and experiences, which can be big or small, and they also evoke strong feelings from its readers. A short story often has few characters in the plot. Now, stories can take various forms, such as narratives. They could also be of expository nature, descriptive, or argumentative. The elements we identified in stories are character, plot, setting, conflict, resolution. Now that we have reviewed the structure of both poems and stories, let's outline their similarities and their differences. Meaning, let's see in which ways they are different from each other and in which ways they are the same. So here I have for you a diagram. And if you know, and if you can remember your maths lesson, this diagram should be very familiar. Yes, we are using a Venn diagram to look at the similarities and differences of poems and stories. So let's look at poems. A poem expresses strong emotions. There is rhythm and rhyme in poetry. Poems are written in verses and stanzas. Literary devices are used a lot. The lines are usually short. Ideas may not be expressed in a complete sentence. The writer of a poem is referred to as a poet. Now let's skip over the middle section and let's look at stories. The elements of story are character, plot, setting, conflict, and resolution. Complete sentences are used to express a point in the story. Stories are organized in paragraphs. The writer of a story is referred to as an author. So now that we have looked at the special things about poem and the special things about stories individually, let's see what they share in common or what they have in common. They both can tell a story, 
meaning that some poems can tell a story. You can tell a story about nature. You could tell a story about your life. You could tell a story about someone. You can tell a story about an event through poems. Remember, all you have to be careful of is the words that you choose. And likewise, stories are in such a way. They're designed to tell us something about life, about nature, and they give us a lot of details. They can both be published, meaning that these are works that you can write and people can have the opportunity to read them and enjoy them. There is the use of figurative language in both. Both are based on real or imaginative experiences, meaning fiction or nonfiction, something that is true or something that is made up. So we could use either poems or stories. You remember that poems are shorter than stories. So if you want to express something, but you don't want to write something as long as a story, you can find a creative way to write it in the form of a poem. So while both are forms of writing, we could have seen that they have their unique style in writing and varying elements. Now, I will display two written pieces for you. You will study the title and the structure, and then you will determine which is the story and which is the poem. So we're going to play a little game called Am I a Story or a Poem? I will give you 60 seconds on the clock for each of the story and poem that I will display. Pay close attention and follow carefully. Here are your first two examples. So let's see, which of these is the poem and which is the story? We have the hare and the hyena and Bruce the ghost. Now remember, as you look at them, you must examine the elements and some of the points that we discussed. So which is the story? The hare and the hyena. Did you figure out that one? I'm sure you did. And therefore, Bruce the Goose is the poem. Now, this should have been pretty simple because if you looked at the structure of these two pieces of writing, you would have realized that Bruce the Goose was comprised of very short lines. And if you did take the time to look at the first verse, you would have found that there were some words that were rhyming. And so there was a little rhythm added to the reading of that. There was a goose whose name was Bruce. So that in itself help you to understand that Bruce the Goose is a poem. Therefore, the hare and the hyena was our story. Here I have two more examples for you. Now you decide which is the poem and which is the story.
Did you figure it out? What about playing catch? Was that the poem or the story? It was the story. If you look carefully, you can identify the paragraphs in the structure of this text. And therefore, dreams would be our poem. Again, if you look at the structure of dreams, we talk about repetition being an element in poetry and it being written in verses and stanza. So if you look, you will see the line, hold fast to dreams being repeated, hold fast to dreams. For if dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. And here we see again, hold fast the dream. So that first line is being repeated, which brings out the element of repetition. So there you have it. Your story was playing catch and your poem was dreams. Now search your language text and try to figure out which of those are stories and which are poems. This is all I have for you in this lesson. So goodbye until next time.